Joker Foliado is a film I was genuinely looking forward to watch from this year. And given my complicated relationship with the first Joker film, I was highly skeptical of having mixed reactions with the sequel. So, what are my thoughts on Joker Foliado? Well, I don't know what it is with these Joker films, but I just don't know how to feel about them. And that goes for this film as well. I'm probably more conflicted with this film than I was with the previous one. There's a lot I like about it. As everyone will say, the film looks beautiful. DOP Lauren Cher composes the frames gorgeously and captures the gothic grunge and filth of Gotham perfectly. Each and every frame is dripping with careful and meticulously crafted use of color and production design, which makes it visually pleasing to look at. The dark greens and yellows of Arthur's prison cell contrasting with the bright reds and blues of his fantasies work perfectly to show his different moods and feelings. And that's one of the things I love about this film, which is just how subjective it is. The entire film is told from Arthur's fragmented perspective. We see what he sees. We feel what he feels. That is why we are constantly wondering what is real and what is not, because we keep switching from what seemingly is reality and Arthur's fantasies, where he breaks into musicals with Harley Quinn. The subjectivity allows for the narrative to feel extremely personal, and that's what I feel has been missing from these superhero films recently. There's a scene where the black umbrellas the guards are holding become colourful when it shifts into Arthur's perspective, and I absolutely loved that. Even the score is haunting and hypnotic. And as much as I like the positives, there are also a lot of things that bog the movie down, in my opinion. Firstly, I really felt the two and a half hour length of the film. It felt way longer than it needed to be. And it just feels tonally and thematically confused. I had no idea what it wanted to say. Does it want us to have empathy for the mentally ill? If so, it doesn't come across as a theme and rather as something that is just part of the movie. Even the musical aspect of it is something I'm really conflicted about. Because it's all well shot and well made, the colours really stand out and the songs are really catchy, but they don't stay with you. And they all begin so abruptly that it just feels out of place in the narrative. There were times where just the amount of songs also got me exhausted listening to them. Its timing doesn't feel smartly paced and that took me out of the experience at times. The story doesn't feel like it was really going anywhere. Harley Quinn's character is severely underutilized. The film is also apparently a courtroom drama. I mean, it just felt aimless and purposeless for most of the time. It's a film that doesn't really know what it wants to be. It doesn't know what it wants to say. The script just feels surface level and lackluster. And that is why by the end, I left the cinema hall feeling pretty much nothing. Which is really sad because I wanted to love the movie. Instead, I walked out feeling a tad bit disappointed and very much mixed. I get that it's a commentary on the first film and it's a response to it. Um, it does a few interesting things with it, but I don't really feel like the film holds up. But despite that, Joker Folia Do is a film I'm glad exists. Just the premise of a musical sequel to Joker had me hooked. And I love seeing beautifully well-made comic book films that have a singular vision behind the camera that feels like the work of a filmmaker and less the product of a corporation. And I love that this film takes big swings and takes risks that may or may not work, but just the fact that they went ahead with certain bold creative choices made me respect the film whether or not I liked or disliked it. So yeah, those are my incoherent thoughts on Joker Folia Do that I tried my best to make sound coherent. Thank you for watching. I would suggest you go watch the film and make your own opinion of it. And let me know in the comment section what you thought about it and we could have a chat maybe. Uh, why not? So yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, it means the world to me. I will see you in the next video.